Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. I'm here with my really good friend Jav. How are you people? I don't think you've seen him on the videos before, <laughs> but tonight we decided we'll do a little bit of steel wool photography. Yeah, so what you need to do this is a whisk, uh, steel wool, a chain or a string to tie the whisk to. That's We're right. going to show you exactly what you need to do. And what else was it? Lighter. A lighter. And we got one of those like jet lighters because if it's windy, it's going to be really hard to light with a normal one. So And safety, people. Yes, 100%. Safety. So we've got some fire extinguishers. It's only sparks, but you never know. And it's a cold and we're doing it. Hopefully, we're going to do it on the beach, on the pier. So pretty safe. But yeah, um, there's two of us. So if something goes wrong, we can extinguish it. And uh, here, bring some. You got some goggles. Yeah. I got my goggles. Goggles too. And my gloves, yeah. just in case, because you can always, always anything can go wrong. So yeah. just got to be prepared. So um, yeah, we're just waiting for a few people to leave because they might freak out if <laughs> sparks start flying everywhere. And then yeah, we're gonna get started. So well, actually no, we need to go and get the stuff. So yeah, we'll see you uh, at the beach. Boom. Alright, so we've been shopping and these are the pads we got. We didn't realize, but it says soap pads, so hopefully they spark and catch fire. Well, you're gonna find out soon. <laughs> this is the uh, little lighter we got, so it's like a jet lighter. It's got us kids safety, there we go. Yeah, so that should work good. And we've got a whisk. And we're using a chain. Because it's got like a little dog collar leash thing on it. You can use a string or a rope, but if it gets hot or catches fire and melts or breaks off, it's yeah, better probably better to use a chain. So we'll see how that goes. And uh, that's about all, isn't it? And we got the fire extinguishers, but they're in the back. Safety glasses. Yeah, safety glasses. Fire extinguishers are somewhere back there. And uh, yeah, that's it. Hopefully these work. So we've got everything we need. Um, these ones with the soap on them, they do light up. But if you can get the ones without soap, definitely do that because it just makes it harder if there's soap on them. We're waiting for a couple of people to leave and then we'll get started. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to film and talk when we're doing this because it's really windy. So in terms of camera settings, um, we'll probably set it ISO 100 because it's going to be a long exposure. The aperture depends on what effect you're going for, but I'll probably go for the lowest I possibly can for this lens, which is probably like 3.5. depends how zoomed in I am. Um, but if you, want it, if you want an even longer exposure, you can close the aperture down to like f16 or something like that. But it's nighttime, so it's going to be dark anyway. So... In terms of the time of the exposure, it doesn't really matter. Probably even like five seconds is enough if you swing in that thing fast enough. So five seconds, 10 seconds, 30 seconds might be a bit much, but it's gonna obviously depend on where you are, how dark or how bright it is where you are. So we're gonna experiment with that. In the finished photos, I'll put the camera settings on the screen so you know exactly what we did. But yeah, it will be ISO 100 for sure. And the aperture will probably be the widest open this lens will allow me to do. And I can't tell you that because it's gonna depend on how zoomed in I am because this lens uh, doesn't have a constant aperture, but yeah, I'll try and I'll try and talk you through it while we're there. But it is windy, so it's going to be yeah a bit hard to talk. But yeah, we're just still waiting for people to leave. They're just sitting there doing nothing, and then we'll go. We'll get started. But yeah, they're, right. they're going to light up good. So yeah, we'll see you when we're out there. These are the people that won't leave. <laughs> All right, so the, there's people left. This is where we're shooting. It's sick. Awesome background. Don't know if you can hear me because it's windy and it's muddy water, but let's give it a go. I'm scared. Yeah, man. Let's do it.
right, so it was pretty awesome. We got some good shots, which I'll show you at the end. A um, couple things to mention. I think even as a photographer, you should wear goggles because I did cop a few sparks in the eyes when I got a bit too close. But um, yeah, it wasn't too bad. What else? Um, any tips? We did an eight second shutter speed on those because it was really windy. So any longer, and I think the camera would have started getting a bit of shake in it. Um, and eight seconds was heaps. So I think it was eight seconds, ISO 125. And I think my aperture was like 5.6 or 6.3, something like that. But yeah, they came out pretty good, I think, so far. I haven't seen them on the computer yet, but we're going to find somewhere else, maybe. Another location. We're going to try and find another location and see if we can get some other sick shots there. So we'll see you there. Oh, that's the other tip. Mm -hmm. Definitely get the ones that don't have soap. Oh, yeah. Because it is windy as hell out here. And I was getting, when I was loading up the whisk, <laughs> I was copying a lot of soap in my eye, so... Loading up the whisk. It's yeah. Like, I don't know why, it sounds funny. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Definitely safety glasses. Yeah, but it worked It worked pretty good. Yeah. It worked pretty good. But, uh, yeah, we're going to try and find another location and see if we can get some more shots, but... I don't know where, but we're just going to have a, have a drive around and see if we can find anything. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Alright, so we drove around for a bit. Didn't really see much. It's getting late, so we're probably going to call it a night and just, um deal with the photos we already got. I think we've got some pretty sick ones yeah, though. I think some so. of them looked awesome. Um, yeah, so I'm going to edit them and then I'm going to do a little outro, throw them up on the screen and uh, that's where you'll see me next. So thanks heaps, man. No worries, bro. It was awesome. Anytime. I actually didn't spin any of the wall. Jab did it all. But yeah, it was pretty epic. It was cool. Yeah. It was cool. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, I'll see you in the uh, studio where I edit the photos. I love you. Catch you later. All right, so I'm back in the little studio. What an awesome night that was. I think Jav had a good time as well. Uh, it's just awesome to spend time together and do that. I think it was pretty cool. A lot of fun. Jav spun the uh, wall around. I actually didn't get to do that. I've done it before, but I've never actually photographed it, which was pretty cool to actually do this time. So let's have a look at the photos. So this first one here is pretty cool. I love how the some of the uh, sparks are going up to the top left and then the others are coming down to the bottom right. It's a kind of cool, like asymmetrical look to it. And I love how the ground looks like it's on fire. I should have listened to Jav's advice because he did say I should have shot it higher to get less of the pier in because um, there is a bit of dead space down the bottom but I figured once it was cropped for Instagram and things like that it would probably look good anyway and I do like the leading lines leading into that circle of fire which is cool. Um, another reason I didn't shoot it too high is because it was really really windy so I kind of wanted to make sure I kept the tripod as low as possible otherwise the the higher it is, the wind, more the wind affects it, basically. So I will put the settings up on the screen, but the settings for this one were ISO 100. I was shot it at 24 millimeter focal length. It was f3.5, which is the lowest for this lens. So unfortunately, a lot of the footage was really, really dark to get because um, this lens isn't exactly the fastest lens. lens. And the exposure time was eight seconds. So I actually found eight seconds was plenty of time. Um, and I could actually go, while Jav was spinning the steel wall, I could actually take maybe two or three photos while he was doing that. So yeah, eight seconds was good. I've seen videos where people do it for 20, 30 seconds, but it does depend where you are and if you're trying to light up more of the scenery and things like that. But yeah, for this one, eight seconds, I reckon was perfect. Uh, this next shot here is just absolutely wild. Jav was swinging around the top of his head. Um, it looks cool, but you, yeah, you just don't know what's going on. But I love the effect how when the sparks hit the, the ground of the pier, they kind of like explode. So you can see those little little sparks on the bottom. I think that looks awesome. Uh, this next one here was the aftermath of that one we just looked at. So I shot another photo after that one and it looks pretty cool, but there's not a whole lot going on there. Uh, and this one here is just absolutely wild. Like, I don't know how some of these curves are there. They just look absolutely amazing. We moved position for this one. There's like a bit of a jetty. Um, yeah, this one looks awesome. You can't really see a lot in terms of what's around, but the sparks themselves look really, really cool. Again, I love how they're hitting the ground and you can kind of see those little explosions of sparks. That looks amazing. But my favorite photo for the whole night was actually the first one we shot and that's this one right here. I don't know what it is about this one, but I just love how the sparks kind of come out and then go back kind of like a boomerang and the ground looks like it's on fire. You can see Jav quite clearly in the photo. Again, I probably wish I shot it a little bit higher, but by the time it's cropped, and as I said, it was really, really windy, so I couldn't exactly have the tripod really high. Um, it would have been cool to try an exposure of like 20, 30 seconds, but the wind was horrendous. I couldn't even record out there. It was way too windy. So um, yeah, I didn't want any camera shakes. I'm like eight seconds was pretty safe, but yeah, all in all, awesome shoot. Massive, massive amounts of fun. I think we both had a really, really good time. Uh, would have been cool to find some other locations, but there's always another day. So yeah, thanks heaps once again to Jav for uh, coming out and doing it. It was awesome. And thanks, thank you guys for watching. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks very much again for watching.